Hey, it's Mike with the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library. I want to say hi to all of my friends and patrons at the uh, main branch in the audiovisual department. Um, I thought when I, while we're here in quarantine, I would show you some of the instruments I have here in my home studio. You've probably seen one of these, an electric guitar. But maybe you haven't seen one of these. This is a steel guitar. This is one of my favorite instruments, and I have a few examples here I'd like to show you. So here we have a very old uh, lap steel guitar. This was built in the late 30s, I believe. And uh, the electric lap steel was actually one of the earliest electric musical instruments. It has an electromagnetic pickup that goes to an amplifier, just like a modern electric guitar, except this probably predates the uh, electric guitar as we know it by about 15 years. <laughs> In the 1940s and 50s, steel guitar players were looking for more options as far as chords and melodies they could play, particularly in the western swing genre, which was adding elements of jazz into a, a country sound. So it led to instruments like this. This is a, a 1951 Fender, and it has three necks with eight strings on each neck, and they're all tuned slightly differently, so they have, so they have similar sound but different tunings on each one. The 1950s and 60s saw the development of the pedal steel guitar. So we're back to one neck, but we have these pedals down at the bottom and these allow me to raise and lower the strings while I'm playing. And because I can raise a string while keeping the others the same, I can get that kind of classic country sound that we're all familiar with. So I've been talking a lot about country music, but the steel guitar is a very versatile instrument and it can be used in a lot of different genres of music. In the 70s, bands like the Rolling Stones and Pink Floyd and the Grateful Dead were using the steel guitar in addition to their other instruments to create a sort of unique thing. If you add some distortion and uh, echo to the, to the instrument, you get a very sort of spacey, ethereal sound. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'm going to post some links to steel guitar music that you can listen to using the library's uh, music streaming service called Hoopla. Uh, those will be posted below. And if you have any questions about the steel guitar or music in general, post them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Till next time.